Today we're talking about some exciting news for Samsung Galaxy users. Samsung has rolled out a new One UI 7.0 beta update, based on Android 15 for the Galaxy S24, Galaxy S24 Plus, and Galaxy S24 Ultra. If you're part of the beta program, this update is packed with improvements, so let's dive right in. The beta program for the Galaxy S24 series originally launched on December 5 in the US, UK, Korea, and Germany. Since then, it's expanded to include India and Poland. For users in India and Poland, this is the second beta update, while participants in the original regions are now receiving their third beta update. This latest beta update has started rolling out in Germany, and it's already live in the UK, India, and Poland. If you're in the US or Korea, don't worry. It's expected to arrive in your region very soon. So how can you identify this update? Look for a build number ending in ZXLJ. The update brings several enhancements and bug fixes, including improvements to the now bar and better vertical scrolling in the app drawer. It's great to see Samsung refining the user experience in these ways. The update is about 1.2 gigabytes in size, so make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi before downloading it. If you're part of the beta program, you can grab the update by heading to Settings Software Update on your Galaxy S24, S24 Plus, or S24 Ultra. If you don't see it immediately, keep checking periodically. It should appear soon. That's all for this update. Are you testing One UI 7.0 on your Galaxy device? What do you think of the new features and fixes? Let us know in comments section. Some users of One UI 7 have reported encountering serious issues after installing the One UI 7 beta update. It is important to highlight that this is a beta, official beta, so most people shouldn't be installing this on their main device. I've experienced some bugs, but this was by far the weirdest bug I had where half of the screen kind of became unstable until I had to restart my device. So yeah, for most people, I don't recommend you to install this, especially on your primary Samsung device. So be sure to wait for the official update once it rolls out in January. A fellow YouTuber, Z Tech Care, recently uploaded a video discussing the features of One UI 7 and highlighted some of the bugs. Among the reported issues, one stood out as particularly strange. According to Z Tech Care, he experienced a bug where half of the screen became unstable, making the device unusable until it was restarted. In his video, he strongly advised against installing the beta update on your primary Samsung device urging users to wait for the official update, which is expected to roll out in January. Another One UI 7 beta user shared a video on the Samsung forums highlighting an issue they encountered. The user explained that while on the home screen, swiping down from either the left or right side only opens the notification panel. However, when inside an app, swiping down from the right opens the quick settings and swiping from the left opens the notifications. They asked, is there a setting to fix this or is it just a beta issue? Another One UI 7 beta user posted on Reddit about a frustrating issue they're experiencing. I can really use some help with this problem from someone a lot smarter than me. The issue is that after unlocking the lock screen, instead of going to the home screen, my phone goes straight to the notification panel. This happens whether or not there are notifications, and it occurs at least 50% of the time. I've already spent over two to three hours trying to fix it, but with no success. To make matters worse, I haven't found anyone else with this problem here on Reddit. I even tried asking Google Assistant, Bixby, and Gemini for help, but no luck. Thanks for reading this post. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas holiday season. Please let me know if you can help solve this problem. This unusual issue remains unresolved and has left the user seeking advice from the community. If you're using the One UI 7 Beta, feel free to share your experience in the comments section. Samsung has rolled out One UI 7 Beta 1, a significant update to its Android interface. The new version introduces a refreshed design, a now bar feature reminiscent of Apple's Dynamic Island, and enhanced AI-powered security. Initially available for the Galaxy S24 series, the beta is already accessible in countries like Germany, India, and the US. Early feedback highlights its smooth performance and iOS-inspired design elements. That said, it's important to keep in mind that beta versions, while not always problematic, can often contain bugs. These releases aim to gather user feedback before the official Android 16 launch. This helps developers catch issues and improve performance that might not surface during controlled testing. The number of bugs can vary depending on the beta stage. Early versions tend to be more prone to issues, 
while later ones may offer a more stable, near-final experience. That being said, One UI 7 Beta 1 is an exciting update for many Samsung enthusiasts. However, today we're going to address some areas of dissatisfaction, potential design and functionality improvements, as well as a few bugs we've encountered. Top 11 issues we found in One UI 7 Beta 1. 1. Battery Charging Icon Animation The animation of the battery charging icon, whether on the home screen or unlocked, feels outdated and doesn't blend well with the rest of the interface. 2. Lack of updated animations One noticeable downside is the absence of updated animations. A lot of the interface still looks and moves like older versions of One UI, which makes the update feel less fresh. 3. No smooth unlock wallpaper transitions the unlock wallpaper transitions are jarring. Instead of a smooth fade or transition, it's a sudden change, which feels a bit rough compared to what we see on Pixel and iOS devices. 4. Forced bouncy animations. The bouncy animations feel unnatural and don't quite match the finger's movement. For example, dragging down the quick or notification panel causes the animation to stop abruptly and then stretch awkwardly, which disrupts the flow. 5. New battery icon feels cheap. While the new battery icon looks interesting, it doesn't feel premium. Adding a small dot, like in iOS, could help make it feel more refined. 6. Folder animations are disappointing. The animations when exiting an app in a folder are problematic. Instead of a smooth transition, it takes you directly back to the home screen, disrupting the experience. 7. Notification icon placement. The pill-shaped notification in the status bar would feel more natural if it were positioned in the punch hole, aligning better with modern design aesthetics. 8. Missing animations for notification icons. Some notification icons, like the stopwatch, lack smooth animations when interacting with the now bar. They simply vanish and reappear with no transition, which feels a bit jarring. 9. Lock screen music player needs tweaking. The lock screen music player has some issues. Text is cut off at the bottom, and when there's too much information, the song title doesn't scroll, making it hard to read. 10. Keyboard should pop up automatically. The keyboard should appear automatically when opening the finder. Having to manually bring it up when searching is a bit inconvenient. 11. Now, bar music player needs refinements. The music player in the now bar could use some improvements. Adding the same blur effect used for the timer would enhance its look, and switching the solid background color in the Samsung Music widget to a color would make it visually more appealing. Conclusion All in all, One UI 7 introduces some exciting features, but there are areas that need further refinement. The outdated battery charging animation, lack of smooth transitions, and forced bouncy animations detract from the overall experience. Simple improvements, like smoother wallpaper transitions, more fluid folder animations, and automatic keyboard prompts, could make a huge difference in everyday use. With a little more polish, One UI 7 could easily provide a more seamless and enjoyable experience for Samsung users. The One UI 7 update is expected to roll out to more Galaxy models soon, including the upcoming S25 Ultra. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section.